Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Chris, this is Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Today we are going to do a favor for the Turian Primarch. Uh, he sent his son on a top secret mission uh, to Tachanka. And uh, we are going to go rescue him. So let's go do that now. Uh, let's take Garrus, but let's change his armor. A little bit more tachanka e. Let's take Chavik. It's been a while since we've brought him somewhere. Uh, in between parts, I can't remember if I mentioned this last time, I did go and get the Terminus armor from the Citadel. Um, so I'm going to use that today. Let's do lift grenade with with Javik. It's a good power. That's my my cool visor on the terminus armor. That's what it looks like. This crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, sir. For a Turian commander, what happened here is, let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving, and that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Lieutenant Victus. Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. Sounds bad. Let's move. All right. On everyone with their assault rifles out. We should be fighting Reaper forces, so I'm gonna use uh, incendiary ammo. It doesn't matter. Our mission is clear. All right. Well, Garrus is just trying to make conversation, Javik. Don't need to shut them down like that. Enemies ahead. Quick, we don't want them to call for backup. Ah! Can husks call for backup? Do they? Do they literally just yell? Survived the crash, but then a harvester took out the pod. Died in the explosion. Okay, I don't think anyone with me can use this. Or dragged out and eaten by husks. Gunfire, they are near. Okay. I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. Acknowledge. Understood. All right, here we go. Huh. 
Oh. Oh, you are alive. I was wondering where that full health bar was from. Oh, wow. For once, I actually turned and stayed with the target. Getting hit hard with something, I don't know what. Splash damage, maybe? Woo! How about that? Thank you. Don't stop for us. We'll head for the main crash site. There's another pod ahead. They'll live to fight another battle. Put incendiary ammo, incendiary ammo in this one. Keep moving. We need to find the main crash site ASAP. Being the son of Adrian Victus is a lot to live up to. Okay, here's a Turian assault rifle. Um, I think I'm going to give this one... Give this one to Garrus for now. It's a big military name on Come on. Took off my ammo again. War is expected to run in the victor's blood. War was a way of life for my people as well. If you couldn't fight the Reapers, you were left behind. Oh, that's a dead end. I thought we could poke through there. Uh, I wanted to wear some different armor. I noticed in Mass Effect 2 I didn't really change it up a lot. Uh, mostly because you can't really control the helmet. Um, after Mass Effect 1, uh, it's just kind of, if the armor has a helmet, you wear the helmet. That's a grenade! All right, not my greatest ambush. I'll admit. Whoo! <laughs> oh my gosh! Come on, lads. I love the, the sound design in this game. All of the explosions sound super just amazing. Just sci-fi. Any, any goodies back here? Keep taking off my ammo. This way. Do you read, Commander? Repeat, do you read? Yeah, I gotcha. What's your status? We're in deep. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. Barnick, how's our velocity? Deceleration on mine. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. How will the commander beat this down? When we find him, we'll ask. All right. 
Gotta find the lieutenant. Oh, that was a dead body, not junk. How dare you? Oh no. Oh yeah, they had me pinned. They threw a grenade behind me. Ow. They threw a grenade behind me and then uh, made me run forward. You do it, damn it. I hate these grenade thrown son of a bitches. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Should really use some first aid though. He got frozen. Not too worried about him anymore. This isn't doing much. Oh, ow. Frick. Oh, what? Why did I even get up? Oh, come on now. I don't understand why my character even got out of cover. Alright, let's hook him off a little earlier this time. Ooh, suck it, you frosty bitch. channel. Oh, come on. Javik. I asked you to cast... to use dark channel on him. Does this thing ever let up? I can't even see it from there. Oh my gosh! This harvester just... Yep, okay. That's a grenade. I'm pretty much dead. I survived. Some small miracle. There we go. Dark channel. He got away. Stop throwing grenades at me! Mass Effect 3 is just the tale of everyone chucking grenades at Shepard. Okay. Let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. Oh yeah, my bad. Krogan terrain animosity is ancient and intense. It's inborn. 
and I need them to work together, so let's not complicate things. Any stuff back here? Okay. Some metagel. Needed that. Extend a barrel. Alright, let's move! Reaper blood with steel for Taliban! Alright. Root back there. Get dark channel going. I got down. He gets popped out of cover. That's a good excuse to use first aid. Nope, not what I meant to do. Alright, I'm gonna have to switch the pistol pretty soon. Right there. Really with the grenades after my whole speech. Oh, you're kind of trying to fl either trying to flank us or caught way out of position. Get you boys into cover. I'll take a spot back here. Come on, man. Read the room. I mean, sure, do a concussive shot. I think I, I'm gonna need to switch this to... It's in your ammo, because the cryo ammo is doing pretty much nothing to the harvester. Alright. One of the bonuses of this armor is that I can carry a little bit more ammo than I normally would be able to. Okay. Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts. But you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. 
When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it. And so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men, I own what happened here today. But we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turian. And we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? Doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No. Still need transmission vector. Cure useless unless given to entire species. You're usually full of ideas, Morton. You altered the genophage before. There must be a way. Of course. Always possibilities. But time limited. Can't create new infection strain from scratch. Groundwater? No. Too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait, yes! The Shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles. Built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also used by Turian. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. Sometimes I understand why the Krogan want to shoot everyone in sight. Those were desperate times. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud facility. Can use it as transmission vector. Then use Shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little piejack. That's our best shot, right there. 
Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morden. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. <sighs> All right. Oh boy. Lots going on here. Uh, let's talk to Anderson first. Shepard. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the Crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... more than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. It's what you hired me to do. Mostly you were hired to kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. Nothing I can't handle. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver. And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole, just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you've already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Oh, Anderson. Alright, so we've got... Still got some stuff to do on Tachanka. We were gonna go and catch... Uh... The scouts for uh, for Rex he had some scouts um, right now I kind of just want to go talk to Garrus so Garrus, buddy. Where'd you go, man? I forgot that in Mass Effect 3 people move around on me. Alright, well, how about we check in the med bay? Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard. We were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Far less painful than tissue sampling. Don't I... remind me. I think you enjoyed doing that. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive, also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand? But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority, will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. 
keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. <laughs> that you can tell him. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borcha offspring have an allergy to dairy and... Well, it wasn't his ear. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. Uh, it's fun to watch. I mean, talking about character growth these past couple episodes, it's just a blast to watch Rex go from someone who had completely given up on uh, healing his people to um, leading his people and dragging them, kicking and screaming into the future. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately, detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her? My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. 
Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. What can you tell me about the Shroud? Climate regulator. Counteracts radiation damage to Tuchanka's atmosphere from nuclear war. Particles emitted from main tower form layer that mitigates ultraviolet bombardment, prevents atmospheric escape of necessary elements. And your people put it up? Yes, when uplift process began. Demonstration of goodwill to Krogan, stabilize climate, impress population. Combined with technological gifts, easy to gain Krogan support against Rachni. You've always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat, outlet for aggression, cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left, but still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong? Possibly. Stakes too high for an experience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right, to prove I can. So, we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachunka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. So the end justifies the means? Not my means. But you're using the data, encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure Genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> uh... That's something that I really love about Morden is that quote where he says, no, I didn't change my mind about the genophage. It was the best decision now. Uh, and it's, it was the best decision then, and it's not the best decision now. Uh, I think that gets talked about a lot when people talk about politics or, um, science or anything really is uh oh you flip-flopped no i didn't flip-flop i like that explanation from warden basically saying that um you can change your mind when you uh have access to new information and that's not a bad thing that's just science so coming up next we're going to do more with the uh krogan and turian stuff maybe we'll go with uh go find rex's scouts on the and the Attican Traverse, maybe we'll uh, keep chipping away at the Cerberus bomb. Uh, either way, I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me.